Do you have a crush on her? Stupid. This is the first time I've seen her. <coughs> hey, what are you doing? Where are you going? I'll discharge myself. I'm tired of lying in a hospital bed. Okay, but you should probably continue your treatment at home, okay? I can take a day off to take care of you. I really don't mind. <laughs> uh, are you planning to go back to work? <laughs> Aren't you afraid of Kovacek? Who can stop me? I feel just fine. Maxim Andreevich, there is a um, heavy patient in the ambulance. Nazar Semenovich is calling you. See? I changed into my uniform just in time. Max, you're back at work? Did Oksana Petrivna allow it? It's all right. Dimo, what happened to it? It looks like a heart attack and possibly a fracture of the right forearm. How did he get both? He had a heart attack in the city center, then he fell. Nobody knows how long he was there. We barely made it to him since there was heavy traffic. Where is Oksana? She's on the way. Let's go to the ICU, quickly. 13th Ambulance Hospital, what's the emergency? Bell. Oh. And a head injury. What is your address? Stepa! Please wait. An ambulance will arrive in 15 minutes. Fifteen, you overestimated us. Going to the center takes an hour. Now we need to go to Oberlo. Well, we live in the capital. <laughs> well, Oksana, I got what you asked for. I had to travel around Italy, but I found it. The medicine? Well done. You can thank me tomorrow morning. <sighs> what time will you arrive? At 5.30, you will still be asleep. By the way, we'll go to my parents tomorrow, remember? Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Let's end the call. Roaming is expensive. Mm-hmm. Well, stop it. You're still early in your pregnancy. You can still safely abort the fetus with pills. I have to tell you, my mother had the same experience, a miscarriage. The fetus froze, and this happened years before I was born. It's probably genetics. I'm sorry. For what? You're not guilty of anything. Though, so what's weird is that the doctor didn't give me the test results. He didn't. No, he didn't. It's okay. We can ask to send it by mail. But now it's not so important. <sighs> Don't be sad, baby. You and I will be fine. I will get these pills myself. Good morning. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Good morning, Oksana Petrivna. Good morning. What a beautiful shirt you have. Uh, sorry. A patient has just arrived. Uh, possibly a heart attack. Okay. It's impossible to place the fragments correctly. So, osteosynthesis. Let's deal with the heart first. I said you're not allowed to work. Are you making me mad? Why so? It's for the better. I do feel great. Do you think poorly of me? Seriously. Look who actually feels bad. Angina pectoris. Second degree heart failure. 
two heart attacks in the anamnesis, and most likely we're dealing with a third heart attack. A fracture with displacement. And I wouldn't be surprised if there was a concussion. Can you talk? When did the two heart attacks happen? It started about five years ago. But it only happened again recently. Nazar Semenovich, you have a patient. Nazar's on the way. So, um, first let's do a cardiogram, then a tropin test. Um, but first the shoulder must be immobilized and anesthetized. Well, you do it. Since you've discharged yourself. Boris Romanovich. Yes. Will you treat my wife? I will. I'm Dazar Semenovich. What happened? <sighs> she fell. From what height? I don't know, maybe about two meters, she went down the stairs. And then slipped, or stumbled. Did she faint? Yes, for about three minutes or so. Obviously, your wife has a moderate concussion. We need to do a follow-up examination to check for other injuries. Head injuries are very dangerous. Take her for an x-ray and then to the ER. I'll go with her. No, no, stay here. Please help her. Definitely. This is our job. Sir. Excuse me, sir. What? Please sit. Sit, sit down. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> 220 over 130. You have a hypertensive crisis. Sonia, please prepare a dropper. Mm. Doctor, my head, it feels like splitting. Are you prone to migraines? Well, lately, yes. Do you take medication? No, I don't. So you don't use medication, you just suffer? I'm trying to endure. And here you are now. Yes. I'm going now. Please avoid sudden movements and don't get up. Mm -hmm. Now you'll be given a drip and an MRI. Necrosis is localized on the posterior wall. Troponin content exceeds the norm. This means that the heart attack happened at least three hours ago. Let's prepare for the operation. No. I'm against stenting. Why do I need it? It's better to do thrombosis. Yes, yes, don't be surprised. I am a cardiologist with 25 years of experience. Yeah, that's what it is. Yes, yes, I do believe that thrombosis is really safer in this case. Hmm. What do you think, Oksana? Should we listen to the recommendations of a doctor or not? If I were you, I would be quiet. You have to be in the ICU right now. I understand that you are a super cardiologist, but at the moment, I am your doctor and I make the decision. Let's start the operation. And you, my doctor, when you are angry, your eyes become even more beautiful. And you, dear patient, should be quiet now. <laughs> okay. The nature of your wound indicates an injury with a sharp object. I just fell down the stairs at home. Mm-hmm. Boris.
Can you feel something here? Yes. And here? Let me see. Did you really just fall down the stairs? Yes. I, I fell down the stairs. What is taking so long? What are you talking about? Everything will be fine. Take a seat. Feels like I've been waiting for an hour. Don't be nervous. We have good doctors. They'll treat your oil. Yeah. I have to take care of the children. Take them to school. How many children do you have? Three. Oh! oh what wow. are their names? How old are they? The eldest, Palinka, is in the first grade. Uh. Vali is five, and the youngest, Kolia, is three. Oh, wow, your wife looks so young for that many children. And same with you. Oh, youth. Mm -hmm. I've known her for ten years, and I love her, just the same as before. And I will not survive if something, if something happens to her. I don't think I can go on. Listen, it's a good thing that she is conscious. That's what's important. So if she is conscious, everything will be fine? Uh, oh, for yes. sure. Here's Boris Romanovich. He'll tell you everything now. Doctor, how is she? What's the diagnosis? Your wife has a concussion. And there is no intracranial hemorrhage? No, 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 don't worry. She just needs rest and proper treatment, you know. You can bring her personal stuff and some food. Mm -hmm. uh, light soup or fruit or anything that she likes to eat? Okay, I'll bring everything. Can I bring the children to see her? Of course you can. But not for long. She cannot be overstressed. Okay, then I'll go. Oh, I wish we could meet such a man. From first glance, he's the ideal guy. Oh, Grandma Galia, I'm even a little jealous of his wife. You're not alone. Mm. <laughs> Oksana, can I talk to you? I want to tell you something. Um, Max is really fine and can work well. I say it as a doctor. As a doctor? And who am I here? Did he send you? Well, don't you know Zakrevsky? He doesn't send anyone, just saying. Well, so what do you want from me? Hmm. Well, for you to reconcile. He loves you. When people love, Lazar, they behave differently. Is this about Mariana? She just pushes them together. And he's poor and miserable and doesn't know how to deal with it, correct? Oh, you're a headache, Oksana. You keep him on a leash, but you don't let him close. Don't do that. I'm not stopping him. He can go wherever he wants. We both have our own lives. These two. Hmm, fools. So invasive heart surgery is slow, but surely it is the best procedure for the heart. <laughs> Uh, tell me, what about this operation? Does it require the heart to stop? It doesn't, but so far we do not do such operations here. Really? But where? In Germany, but not everywhere. Uh, alas, only in several heart centers. Hello, interns. Sorry to interfere with your discussion, but I have one simple question for you. What? are you doing here? They're listening to the lecture. Yes, we haven't been here long. Um, it's my fault. Oksana Petrivna instructed me to measure the temperature, but our patient said interesting things that I thought it would be great for everybody to hear. Everything is clear. Steba, by the way, Dima is looking for you. There's a lot of things to do. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You too. Get to work quickly. Lectures come after duty. Okay. Sorry. I do think that the lecture of a professional like me is much better than the practice under the guidance 
of a uh, of an unbalanced person like you. What did you say? Because let me remind you why you're here. You're here as a patient, not as a teacher. Please behave like one. Don't tell me what to do. Good night. <laughs> Oksana, we need to talk. I'm listening. Uh, I think it would be best to transfer Glib to another hospital. Let the others deal with him. Uh, and why are you here telling me what to do? I don't think it's necessary to transfer anyone anywhere. Is there something that he did wrong? He didn't do anything. It's just... He's distracting our interns. Like what? Well, that supposedly... The best heart center is in Germany, I understand. But the interns should work and not listen to stories of some old idiot. Hmm. I'll talk to him. Sonia, have you seen Ostap Rogovi? Um, I have. He was looking for boiling water. He wanted to make some tea, so I sent him to the office. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry, may I brew my tea here? Sure, but the kettle boiled a long time ago. It's okay, it's okay. I will boil it again, and please just continue. Yoga requires maximum concentration. I distracted you, right? Well, I'm sorry. By the way, I also practice such things. You know, ancient methods... Ice water, acupuncture, raw food, hot spot massage. Moreover, I go out in the astral, and there they talk, they talk. What do they say? Gouda percha in the sun climbs a pine tree. I catch this bright ray and fall asleep. I wake up the moon and the stars, the soul mother, and it's not scary, and it's not scary to fly away. Uh, what do you think? Well, very original. <laughs> I also write prose. Listen, and you, you also don't believe in all these strips, pills, injections, do you? Weird question. I'm a certified anesthesiologist. Yeah, well, listen, you can confess it to me. I have nothing to hide. Hmm? Strange. And I already thought that you are also enlightened. Oh, oh. What a smell, huh? Look. Oh, what a smell. Oh, here. Hey, wait. What is that smell? Oh, it is tansy. Licorice, borkum, mm -hmm. and a special ingredient, Hawaiian rose. Mm -hmm. If you drink every day, you can communicate with deceased relatives in a dream. Mm -hmm. You want to try this one? No, thank you. Mm -hmm. If you say so. All right. See you around. 
Gleb Alexandrovich. Oksana Patrivna, glad to see you. Did something happen? I have a complaint about you. I was told that you hinder people from working. N no, I was just slandered. I wanted to... Well, you are behaving incorrectly. Well, I'm sorry. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. We don't provide lectures or refresher courses here. <sighs> yes, I understand. Forgive me, please. I promise not to do it again. How are you feeling? Oh, I feel great. As if I was born again. You know, the operation was very timely. Thank you. In fact, I feel I can even run now. I, uh, it's uh, too early to run. Yes? <laughs> <laughs> yes, only short walks and breathing exercises. That's it. Mm. What are you reading? Uh, this topic interests me very much. Especially tissue transplantation from other areas to restore the shape of the valve. With Mitchell, it is common everywhere, but with the aortic, it is much more complicated. Yes, yes, yes. But I, uh, but I saw that you have modern equipment here, so you probably could use Teflon threads. Yes. Just last week, I had an operation where I sewed someone's torn valve sleeves. Hmm. Oksana Petrovna, you can see that you're not too strict with a patient. We discussed the incident with the interns, and Glib Alexandrovich has apologized. I apologize. Mm. And now you're having a private conversation here. Well, not private, but more in cardiology. That's highly specialized. What do you think? Can we be compared? We did not practice in Germany, just here, in this hospital. You know, Oksana Petrovna, I think that he's jealous that you talk to me. So where were we? On this interesting topic, there's the restoration of the shape of the valve. Sit down. Mom, are you in pain? Not anymore, Paulina. Dad said that you fell. I brought you some fruit. Yes, that's how unlucky I was. Will you help me do mathematics? I have a lot of homework to do. Paulina, we wouldn't be here for too long. I think maybe you'd better lie down. I'll go take them to Grandma, and then I'll come back. Okay? Come on, kids. Take this to the examination room. This to the manipulation room and the bandages. Sonia, can you excuse us, please? I just need to talk to Tanya for a moment. I want to warn you, so it will not be a surprise for you. I will officially prove that I am Bodhan's father. Why? Is he my son? Of course. Yes. I think maybe the boy would rather live with me. Dima, but I... I don't stop you from seeing each other. In fact, I'm very glad that you're getting along well. He likes you very much. He always asks about you. Hmm. Really? And does he also ask about Stepan? Dima, what does Stepan have to do with this? Exactly. He has no business here. He is my son, and I will fight for him.
Okay. It's normal. Good. Ugh. Damn it. Why does he have so much ergon in his blood? What's wrong, Borya? Your face looks like you saw an alien. Come here. Could you look at this? What's that analysis? Ergin? Leaser Hall? Ergometrin? Wow! Is the old man like LSD? Actually, we talked earlier. I would not be surprised if he did. But it seems it's because of another reason. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Did something happen? Everything's fine. Mm. Doesn't look like it. So tell me then. Is it about Dima? Yes and no. Well, I got it. Yes, I did. Well, I got it. Did you ask? What does he know about the consequences of the long-term use of Clover? He says that it only does good. He read about it on the internet. Is he aware of the Hawaiian Rose? It's almost like LSD. Actually, he's against drugs. <laughs> but he says it's important for him to enter the astral. Even with his mm. pressure rising, it doesn't bother him. <laughs> oh well. You can discharge him. You can continue to take drugs after his release. Okay. They should stop these astral journeys. <laughs> Goodbye. See you. Well, do everything according to prescription. And in two days, we will discharge you. You're tense. Is something bothering you? No, everything's fine. I feel much better. The pressure is slightly elevated. Do not be nervous. You will soon recover. Thank you, Nazar Semenovich. Hello? I will check on you again later. Why are you like that? Do you like him? No. Then why are you smiling at him like that, you whore? Mad at Oksana? She is worried about you as a colleague. She doesn't care. It seems that she has a new affair. An affair? With a cardiologist. I've never seen her so inspired. Wait, do we have a new doctor? A patient. He intervened during the operation and I was asked to leave. Well, that's none of my business now. Anyway, tell me, have you visited Veronica? What's her condition now? Uh, it's hard to tell. I need to figure out everything by myself. <sighs> Strange. Apparently, the recovery should have started, but it seems that there's some sort of inhibition. What do you think? Well, a stroke is a tricky thing. I'll, uh... I'll tell you everything at once, after I understand what's going on. I will tell you one thing. Everything is very, very difficult with Veronica. Well, I know that for sure. Give me some time. Okay, thanks, Boris. Admit it. Are you cheating on me, you slut? Stop. Uh, 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 you think I forgot? Uh, uh, 
Uh, let me go! No, I did not forget. All those nights at your sister's, <gasps> going to the movies with a friend. <gasps> Please stop it, I was told to rest. That bastard told you, right? Listen. Just tell me the truth. Are you having an affair with him? I'm tired of your abuse. I've had enough. I'm breaking up with you. Right after I get discharged. Stop! What are you doing? Nothing. Miss, are you alright? Are you okay? Huh? You alright? This is my wife when I can do anything I want with her. Do you have a crush on her? Stupid. This is the first time I've seen her. <coughs> hey, what are you doing? Glib <coughs> Alexandrovich, can you hear me? He hit him hard on the face. He had it coming. Go out now. Glib Alexandrovich, can you hear me? Well, are you used to working at the ambulance? Yes. But I still want to be a surgeon. <laughs> if you want, you will. I will. I Excuse think so. me. Dima, can I talk to you? Yes. What did you two talk about? With whom? With Tanya. If you love her, simply tell her. Simple? Then why don't you tell it to Maxim? I'm talking about you two, Dimitro and Tanya. Seriously? Okay. Then why didn't she call me when she found out she was pregnant? Why didn't she call when I was deployed during the war? It's not World War II. Phones work and there's mobile coverage. You really don't understand why? Because she respects your choice. And you chose to go to war. She even prioritized you over herself. She told you that? Sorry. Hello? Oh, damn, I'm on my way. My goodness, you scared us. How's my heart? An attack again? No, you're lucky. Why did you get into a fight in your condition? He hurt her. How... How could I not interfere? Honestly, I respect your actions, but it's a serious risk to your health. You need to be careful. Uh... Paging Boris Romanovich, are you there? I'm listening. The patient's husband has calmed down and is waiting for you in the office. It's great that nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you could add to the statistics of fatalities in our department. Maxim Andreevich. Oksana Petrovna. I'm also very worried about the health of our brave patient. Thank you. Well, can you tell us what really happened? Go on, tell me. Listen, why the hell are you poking your nose into other people's lives? You beat your wife. No, I just pushed her. And? And she fell. Hit the corner of the table. Oh my goodness. Do you understand that you could have killed her? <laughs> That is total nonsense. Tell me, how often do these beatings happen? Huh? Well, she deserves it. I don't understand. Sorry. Did you see her? All the men stare at her wherever she goes. And they go nuts. I think that she has been cheating on me for the longest time. And what do you mean by that? It's obvious. She's home all day. While I go on tours, rehearsals, concerts... I actually play in an orchestra. I'm a cellist, you see. Sometimes I feel like she's tired of me. She just tolerates me. 
for the sake of our children, for the sake of status, and then sheets on me. She just said she would file for divorce. And where do you think she would go after that? Tell me, what do you think? Of course, to some bastard. But I do love her. No, no. You don't love her. You only love yourself. Hey, Freud. You stay here in the waiting area and you think you can decide on other people's fates? I'd say one thing. Your wife made the right decision. It's a pity that it is too late. I will persuade her to report you to the police for your actions today. You will get what you deserve. Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't want to offend you, but there's no need to report to the police. Fine. Then promise me you'll do all the requests and the recommendations that I will give to you and to your wife. All right. When the two of us got married, he made me quit my job, saying I shouldn't bother. He's a successful musician who can provide for family. And I, like a fool, agreed. Suddenly, all my friends disappeared. He somehow pushed everyone away. And then he started to be jealous of everyone around me. At first I apologized. I reassured that I loved him and that I never had an affair with anyone and never planned on having one. He didn't believe me. And now I realize that everything's useless. He's such a disease. I just hope that he would change. But why didn't you do anything? But last time he begged me to forgive him. He swore to me and to our children. And I believed him because I loved him. And I couldn't bear to lose him. Do you understand? Will you file for a divorce? Yes. I don't want this life. I love him so much, but he just doesn't understand it. He doesn't listen to me. We should live separately. If he ever changes, I'll give him a second chance. Can we talk alone? No, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, tell Maxim to go to the examination room. Who is he going to examine? He will ask for sure. I will examine him. Okay, got it. Fine, I'll call him now. Help yourself, Oksana Patrita. Eat in the cafeteria instead. Maxim Andriovich, you're wanted in the examination room. Oksana ruined my appetite. What is it? May I come in? Oh, come in, come in. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened to me. 
Forget about it. It's a pity that you beat a woman, especially since she's your wife. I think that this is not the first time, right? Oh, well. Do you play chess? Yes. Okay, get a chair and play with me. You'll be fun. Come on. You play white. Uh, go ahead. I'll tell you a story. Many years ago, I was married to a charming woman who I loved madly. She was... She was like a goddess. A very beautiful woman. Appealing, brave, <laughs> determined. Similar to Oksana Petrovna. <laughs> Just like her. Here. Well, we lived together for three years. And once at a birthday party... Go, go. One day at a friend's party... I suspected her, and I've always had, of flirting with one of the guests. When we returned home, I made a terrible scandal. I shouted at her. She also did not keep quiet. And, and I could not stand it. And so I hit her. And in the morning, I saw that she was not there. She packed up and left. She ran away. And on the same day, she filed for divorce. That's it. She ran away after you hit her? She didn't love you. Why? She loved me. Until I hit her. Until I hurt her. Get it? I still remember that damn day, clearly, when I raised my hand at her. Well, from that day on, everything went, went downhill. Uh, no, of course, I've had women and relationships after that, but I never got married again. And her? Well, she. She got remarried and is probably happier. Just two children and already has grandchildren. But she did the right thing by leaving. I think she betrayed you. No. I betrayed her when I hit her. Remember that. Never hit a woman under any circumstances because sooner or later she will leave. She will go away forever. That is the truth. Well, another game? Hmm? Come on. I'll play white now. Well, just as I thought, it's too early for you to work. The wound is completely fresh. A hernia may develop. Mm -hmm. Why are you saying that? It's good that you're discharging me because I can't stay in bed anymore. Yes, I'm discharging you. What else is there to do? Well, that's great. By the way, how's your dear Glib? My? What? Well, it seems like you have a lot in common, am I right? Are you jealous? Of us? Well, it's not funny. Hmm. Oksana. When will we finally talk about us? Hmm? There is no us. You'll be just fine without me. Just an example of male polygamy. And you are not going to change. Oh, I've been looking everywhere for you. Mr. Sikrevsky, the carriage has arrived. We can go. Right on time. Oksana Petrivna. <laughs> uh, this. 
is for you. Did you leave the hospital? No, take it, take it. I didn't go out. I just asked my friend. He went to the flower shop to buy me these beautiful flowers. They're beautiful. Really. Thank you. Okay. So, how is your hand? How do you feel? I feel good in the hand. The hand is also good. Are you going home? Mm-hmm. It's a pity that I'm confined here, and I can't take you home. But it's okay. It's nothing. And as soon as I recover, we'll be able to fix that. Okay? Come on, I'll take you to the ward. Come on, I can do it myself. I'm a gentleman. I can let's handle go. it. Let's go. I also forgot my phone. Oksana, let's go. Huh? I'll take you home. Uh, let's go. I'm not going yet. What are you doing, Borya? Stop it, it hurts. Let me go. Are you alright? Yes, I'm sorry. It was just a rough day today. Well, go home and get some rest. I'll wait. Borya, I'm not leaving yet. I see that your colleague is agitated and very nervous. Very unprofessional. Let's go. You know, Oksana Petrovna, since you're coming back, I have an idea. Let's have some tea together. My friends gave me such good herbs. Let's go, I'll treat you. Come on. Come on, let's go inside. Gleb, Gleb Alexandrovich. We may have a relationship, but it's purely business, all right? Damn it. Boya? <laughs> Hello. Hello, darling. You look wonderful tonight. Thanks. And you look good as usual. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? Okay. Tell me, Anya, please be honest. Aren't you annoyed that I often ask for your help? Come on. No worries, even if it flatters my professional self-esteem. Anya, Anya. <laughs> Tell me. I don't even know where to start. Today, I was talking to someone. A patient's husband. We are somehow alike. I advised him about some sensible things, but I did realize, and uh, surprised myself, that I would act exactly the same way that he did. How exactly? He beats his wife out of jealousy. Although not an everyday occurrence, but still he beats her. Severely. What do you mean by what you just said to me? <sighs> yes. I almost hit Oksana today. Surprisingly, I stopped myself. At that moment, somewhere, something inside me wanted to burst. Borya, look at me. You have to stop thinking about Oksana as if she's special, as if she's a prize. Stop? How? Just understand, she's an ordinary woman now, one out of millions. Take her off the pedestal and you will see that I am right. And? And then what? This will help bring Oksana back. Thanks. <sighs> I think this will help. Careful. I'm good. Well, wait. I'll take your bag. Here we are. All right, then. What floor do you live on? And please tell me the elevator works. It does work, right? <sighs> it works. Don't worry, I'll get there myself. Uh-huh, whatever. You'll get there yourself. You'll fall on the way. 
I'm taking you to your apartment, and that's the end of this discussion. At the same time, I will see how the genius surgeon Maxime lives. Let's go. And you will not regret it? Are you sure? <laughs> I'm sure there'll be nothing to regret. Well... Let's go. Don't worry, I've got it. Let's go. All right. That's right. Be careful.